What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an easy and delicious creamy chicken alfredo. Now listen guys, I know it's tough times and a lot of you guys requested that I show you how to make some kid-friendly recipes and also really easy and quick recipes as well. And this chicken alfredo is a dish that the whole entire family will love. Now, there's a bunch of different ways of making chicken alfredo and stay tuned until the very end of the video because I will be sharing some tips and tricks on how you can jazz it up. But more importantly, I'll also be sharing some important substitutions in case you don't have all these ingredients on hand. Let's go ahead and get started. Making chicken alfredo is actually really easy and you probably already have these ingredients on hand. We're gonna start off by boiling our pasta and you can use whatever kind of pasta you want. Just make sure that it's really good at holding sauce. Be sure to salt the water really generously and cook the pasta al dente, which means that you want the pasta to have a little bit of bite. And just know that the cook times for al dente pasta will vary depending on the type of pasta that you're using. So once you've cooked your pasta, you wanna make sure and drain it. And now we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning the chicken. And all we're gonna do is season it with some kosher salt and black pepper. You can also add some onion powder and garlic powder for added flavor, but just know that we will be using both fresh garlic and onions later on. So once you've seasoned the chicken, you wanna go ahead and mix it all together until it's well combined. And the beauty of this dish is that the chicken does not need to marinate at all. Afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our flame to medium, and then we're going to add some oil into the pot. And once that oil has become nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken, and we're going to brown it on all sides. You wanna make sure to mix the chicken here and there because we're actually going to cook the chicken all the way through. It's really important that you actually cut the chicken in about small pieces this way the chicken cooks evenly and fairly quickly. All in all, I would say that my chicken took about seven to eight minutes to cook all the way through. And in total, this dish is ready in under half an hour. So once the chicken is golden brown and cooked all the way through, we're actually going to remove it and place it off to the side. And now we're gonna start making our Alfredo sauce. Bear in mind that there's a ton of ways of making Alfredo sauce and I'm showing you my quick and easy creamy way. So once you've taken all the chicken out, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add some butter and you can use salted or unsalted butter, it's totally up to you. And once that butter is nice and melted, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add our finely diced onions. Now you wanna make sure to dice your onions fairly small so that they disappear within the sauce later on. And if you have some picky kids that just don't like onions at all, feel free to omit it and use onion powder instead. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper to help those onions sweat and saute. And no worry if your butter and oil begins to burn a little bit, all that's doing is adding some extra flavor. So once we've sauteed our onions, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add some broccoli. Now I love having my chicken alfredo with some broccoli because it's a great way to add vegetables to this dish. We're also going to add some fresh garlic and just like the onions, you want to make sure to dice it really finely just so that it disappears throughout this dish. So once you saute them for about four or five minutes and they become nice and soft, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some half and half, but you can definitely use heavy cream or regular milk if that's what you have on hand. And you want to make sure to give everything a stir and the milk is actually going to deglaze the pot and infuse all that wonderful flavor into our sauce. And now for the star of the show, we're going to add some shredded Parmesan cheese, but you can definitely use some Asiago and Romano cheese if that's what you have on hand, or a bonus, you can even add a combination. Now the cheese is definitely going to thicken our sauce and it's going to make it nice and creamy. And you can add extra cream and extra cheese if you want a sauce that's really, really rich. So after a few minutes, you're going to see that the sauce has thickened. And once you can part the sauce with your spatula or your spoon, just like I'm doing right here, then you know that your sauce is ready to go ahead and add the chicken. 
Now this is totally optional. If you want, you can serve the chicken off to the side and place it on top when you serve it, or you can mix it into the sauce like I'm doing right here. And once that chicken is mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add our al dente pasta, and we're going to very gently just toss it into the sauce. Now the great thing about this is that the pasta will actually soak up so much of that alfredo sauce, which is going to really enhance the flavor. So once we've mixed it in and the pasta is coated in that yummy alfredo sauce, we're actually going to cover it for about five minutes on low heat. And as you're going to see, the sauce has dried up a little bit because the pasta has truly soaked up all of that beautiful sauce. Now, like I mentioned before, if you want a sauce that's a little thicker and creamier, go ahead and add more half and half or more heavy cream if that's what you have on hand. So there you guys have it, my recipe for a creamy chicken alfredo. Whenever I eat this dish with my family, I make sure to add some extra cheese over top when I'm eating it because who doesn't love cheese? If you have any questions, comment down below. And until next week, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho. All right guys, here are some quick tips and tricks to help you get this chicken alfredo perfect each and every single time. For my first tip, feel free to use heavy cream if that's what you have on hand, and you can also use some regular milk. Now, if you use regular milk, you may have to add some extra cheese just to help the sauce get a lot more creamy. And speaking of cheese, you can definitely add more cheese if you want a sauce that's really nice, rich, and creamy. For my second tip, Feel free to use whatever type of pasta that you like. Just make sure that it's the type of pasta that's good at holding sauce. Bonus if it has some ridges, just like the penne that I used in today's recipe. For my third tip, you don't have to add the chicken into the sauce. In fact, if you want, you can cook the chicken and serve it off to the side when you're ready to have your Alfredo. Now for my fourth and final tip, Whenever you are warming up the chicken alfredo, you may have to add a little extra cream or milk just to bring the sauce back to life. Because when this dish sets, the pasta actually absorbs the sauce, so it may look a little dry. So if you add just a little bit of milk, the sauce will definitely become nice and rich again. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to join the Chef Z family and subscribe and click that bell so that you're notified each and every single time I post an all new video. And if you need some ideas on what to cook next, go ahead and click right here.